Was that not the best Jimmy Stewart impersonation you have ever seen before in your life? I used to be able to do Jimmy Stewart, and I can't anymore, but this movie is called Rope, and it was released in 1948 and directed by the old-time greatest director in the history of movies, Alfred Hitchcock. Good evening. Hmm. Who's also directed such films like Dial M for Murder, Strange is on a Train, The Birds, Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, and Psycho. And his films have been talked about and written in essays. Scholars talked about him for a long time. People who claim to be movie buffs always talk about how great his movies are. Yes, I've liked some of his movies, but... You know, he's not God. He is not perfect. He's directed some shit. Thankfully, though, this movie is not one of those. And this movie is starring John Dahl, Farley Granger, John Chandler, Sir Cedric Hardwick, Constance Collier, Douglas Dick, Edith Evanson, and the incomparable Ch Jimmy Stewart. Well, there, I think I found it a little bit. I, I was giving him too much uh, of the stutter there. I, I You just kind of, kind of, bring the the voice back a little bit, purse your lips on the side, and I think that's a pretty damn good Jimmy Stewart. Well, hey, you killed that man with a rope. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't. Merry Christmas, movie house! And the reason why we're talking about rope today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from a first-time donator on this channel. Welcome to the channel. His name is Ben Knox. Thank you very much for this recommendation. He also recommended another movie that I'm going to be checking out here in a couple of days, so thank you very much for contributing. I hope you enjoy my review. I hope you're enjoying this channel. Thank you so much, Ben. And yes, this is Hitchcock. This is Rope, a movie that I've never watched before. Watching it, I was like, this has got to be based on a play. Or maybe a play was written about this film after it, which I guess back then in those days, the play was written and then films were adapted from it, unlike today, where a movie comes out and then the movie studio's like, we need to capitalize on the blockbuster, so what can we do? Oh, let's make it into a Broadway musical, yeah! Back then, though, the theater was more original than movies. How things have turned. Brendan Shaw and Philip Morgan have recently strangled to death one of their colleagues. But they don't consider it murder, they consider it an experiment. And their attempt to pull off the perfect crime. So after they stuff the body into a chest, they host a dinner party with a couple of friends and a couple of their mentors. One of them being a previous prep school headmaster of theirs, Rupert Caudell, played by Jimmy Stewart. And as the dinner party moves on, Rupert is starting to uncover this terrible crime that these two people have committed. It's a Tale with the biggest hubris I have ever seen in a movie. These two people kill a man, and instead of just casting him aside or taking care of the body really quick before they host a party, they decide to be arrogant about it and put the dinner table and all the food and drinks and everything on top of the chess table that they stuff the body in because, you know, <laughs> we're gonna be eating from his grave. Isn't that hilarious? It's the perfect crime, I tell ya. So essentially, these two elitist kids you just want to slap across the face because that's why they committed the crime. That's why they killed this man to conduct an experiment of, hey, there should be an intellectual elite out there in this country or in this world who should make the decision of who lives and who dies that will control population, that will control people going hunger and people dying of thirst. If we can limit the population with a select few who will make the decisions for people, this world will be a much better place. So yes, it will. <laughs> but then Jimmy Stewart is there, and he's there to tell him, what, what, are you playing God? You're not God. You can't play God. I love Jimmy Stewart. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. He's a great classical actor. I wish he was still alive today making movies. Of course, you know, everyone, <laughs> everyone can't live forever, unfortunately. But gosh, the movies that we got with this guy are fan frickin tastic Even if the movies aren't good, he is still wonderful in them. He approaches his characters with such love 
and intellect. Every single one of his characters is intelligent in some way. They're not always performing. They're not always putting on a performance for people to watch. The characters that he takes on kind of tend to be introverts at first, where they kind of sit back and take in everything. And then by the end of the movie, there is a crescendo to the character where they get to the point where they just break out into just these huge monologues about philosophy and morality. I love Jimmy Stewart. He picks the best roles for himself. I love the characters in this movie and the character that he he picked for himself because it's perfect and you can definitely tell this is a play we are in one set we never leave from here with this high-end apartment in new york i believe and they're serving cocktails and people of a certain intellect are coming over to look at the collection of books that they have and if they want to take any of them with them and the entire time these two people that just committed this murder are just smiling and walking around well i'll say philip is there and he's kind of freaking out he's playing the piano he's getting nervous and breaking alcohol glasses in his hands so he cuts himself a little bit but brandon is just walking around with his chest out looking freaking great in that suit by the way that suit looks fantastic and he's the life of the party he's putting Putting everything on he's getting certain people together he's talking with certain people he's having a great fucking time and it all builds to a wonderful climax with jimmy stewart coming in and giving his morality speech and whenever you get a jimmy stewart morality speech in your movie you know you've made it and i would love to see this play done in person because this was wonderful i loved this thing the only aspect that i didn't like about this movie and actually it happened like in the first couple of seconds after the opening credits the camera pans up to the windows of this apartment building and then you hear this scream you hear this ah! and then we cut into the apartment and the two guys are strangling their colleague and they have the rope around his neck but i'm thinking when you strangle someone you can't yell because your airway is is closed you can't yell maybe you can squirm a little bit and make some noise but you can't make a blood curdling yell like you hear at the beginning of this movie for alfred hitchcock being the greatest director of all time you think he would know how that whole sound stuff works when you strangle someone not like I know. I don't. I don't know. What? what? Shut up. What? Stop looking at me. No. What? Go away. Come on! I'll, I'll go and break into my Jimmy Stewart! Stop staring at me like that, Jimmy! Rope is wonderful. It is one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. I've never heard of it before. I want to see this performed live. I thought this film was great. I'm going to give Rope four and a half out of five Blu-rays. It's good. It's good. Good. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part of my videos where I pick which movie I'm going to be watching next. And the next one is another PayPal recommendation and donation. I'm trying to knock them all out here at the end of the year. Hopefully, I can get to all of them. If not, I apologize. But this next one is from Hennig Kleiss, 3D artist. I haven't heard from him in a while. He recommended the Netflix film All Quiet on the Western Front, a World War movie about Germans. And the Germans love me. Especially with all the comments I get from my DOS boot review. Yay! I do remember seeing the original version of All Quiet on the Western Front, though, and I remember thinking that this was a excellent picture and i've heard nothing but great things about the netflix film so we'll check it out next time so guys if you've seen the rope what did you think about it or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across because of this video then comment below let me know what you thought about it and as always if you like what you see here if you like my take on movies then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell see you all the next time i release next movie review so guys i will see you next time on the channel but in the meantime be well be good to each other and go watch a movie take care guys